<laughs> I'd marry all of them because I'm a, I'm a f hoe. Well, if it's like five, then I'll take them. Though. You'll get an assault charge on that. <laughs> How big is my? So you're definitely telling me that this car pulls. Yes, it pulls. Tell my girlfriend no. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're coming live to you from Slammed Enough 2022 in Ontario, California. We're doing something completely different that we've never done before at a, at a car show. We're asking the question that everybody wants to know. It's juicy. Let's jump into it. This lineup is looking pretty sick here at Slammed Enough, right? Okay, fine. F*** you. Then, Junior. Are we stumbled upon the Arizona T charger that's what it is right oh, i'm gonna get wrecked but this thing is wild dude it's got some freaking honeycomb carbon fiber look at that sick and then yeah junior get the shots bro get the shot of the koi pond bro oh my god this man freaking he does it all there's even arizona teas in the cup holder let's show him arizona teas in the cup holder bro pretty ridiculous now let's uh let's try and find the owner let's see if we can ask him some questions we found the owner of the arizona tea car abraham hey what's up this thing is absolutely wild, dude. Shout out everybody, show them what's your Instagram so they can follow you. Uh, right here, Fishers 5.7. Fisher? Fishers 5.7. Right here. So what was the inspiration behind this build? Uh, honestly, I just went all over the place. Uh, at first, I, with the front end, I started doing it for like, uh, just kind of kind of be fast boy status. It's a charger, it's a V8. So then I started doing motor work, and then after a while, I just got tired of it. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just go something fun, something let the kids have fun, let everybody be like, oh shit, that's not supposed to be on a car, which yeah. is what the trunk. Yeah, dude, and everything's pretty sick. Yeah, the koi pond in the freaking trunk is absolutely ridiculous. Um, what inspiration or what words of wisdom do you have for somebody who's new coming into the car scene? Uh, really, just be yourself. Do what you want to do, how you want to do it. If you want to be different, do that. That's the best thing to do. Are you having fun out here in Slammed Enough 2022? Oh, yeah, definitely. All the time. Okay, we have one last question for you, Abraham. The most serious question, this one is the one that matters most, okay? Kill, fuck, marry. French toast, pancakes, and waffles. Uh, I'd marry all of them because I'm a, I'm a fucking hoe. <laughs> he's gonna marry all of them because he's a fucking hoe. You got it. You heard it here first. <laughs> Thank you, Abraham. So we found this VIP Lexus. This thing is absolutely sick. I'm stoked on this car. Let's try and find the owner. We finally found that owner. Shout him out on Instagram. What's your at? 20 era. So Aaron, this is a, I love the VIP style. I'm not going to lie. My first set of wheels was a traffic star Riverside. Yeah, DTX. So what was your inspiration for doing that set of wheels? Honestly, the full face to yeah. like a lot of Japanese cars are full face. It just goes better with the style. You know, it's not, you get mesh and you have more like sporty cars when you see mesh. So semi full or full face is always yeah. great for big bodies. What, what got you into like the whole VIP scene? Because I see you got the whole Junction Produce, you did everything, quilted stitch leather. This thing is pretty sick. Man, I, I guess the vibe, you know, it's like yeah. old, old school mob type of shit, you know? Like it's just my style. Like, I like fast cars too, don't get yeah. me wrong, but like this style, just you can imagine like somebody back in the day rolling yeah. around, that's important, yeah. That's pretty sick. What words of like, I guess, wisdom or advice that you could give to the new car scene or people coming into the car scene now today? Uh, just do your own thing, you know what I mean? Just, thing. if you're gonna do your VIP build, just do your research, start looking into what's what, you know, like, don't cheap out, maybe like on some little things, but as for the look, just make it look like your own thing, you know? Sick. Okay, so we have the most important question coming up for you, Aaron. You look like a pretty tough guy, bro. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> most, most, most important question. If you were to get in a fight with a whole group of third graders, like a whole class, like 30 third graders. Who do you think will win? Uh, if it's like five, then I'll take them. Like, that three. So like a whole class, like 30. Damn, then I'll run. 
<laughs> you heard it here first, Aaron would run. He'll get an assault charge on that. <laughs> we found this sick BMW. The fitment on this thing in the AAP booth. Man, these guys are going hard. Look at this thing. That's so sick, bro. Shout out the boys at AAP. We love you. Now let's try and find the owner of this car. found the owner of the car it's mark what's up guys Give how's it going uh it's just my first and last name mark gilheis mark this build is super clean thank you thank you thank you yeah uh, it's still going though so there's a lot more to go but yeah first show with the car so i'm super excited and yeah more to come you guys don't don't worry first show with the car yeah. this thing's coming out pretty sick dude everything is super clean the carbon fiber the wheel setup what was the inspiration for the build and getting the bmw uh, I've always wanted an M3 and uh, at the time I used to have an STI my motor blew twice you guys out there know how that goes um, on the second time I was like all right once we put a new motor in I got to get the next big thing so it was an M3 I always wanted one so finally able to afford one and yeah got, got it. it yeah sick so it seems like you've been in the car industry for a, for a minute what would your advice be to somebody who's a newcomer up and coming in the scene uh, you don't have to get the latest or the most expensive model, honestly. Um, everyone's got different makes and models. Uh, as long as you got good taste and you can modify it cleanly, like it'll come out good and people will appreciate it. You don't have to spend the most money on it. Just as long as it's clean, you'll get the respect. Yeah. All right, Mark. The most serious question that we got for you, okay? It's a riddle. So, my lips are five inches. My barrels are seven. How big is my dick? Huge, bro. Huge. It's hanging, bro. That's. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thank you for participating. How you guys doing? Mid video break. I was gonna say this video is sponsored, but it's not. So. Sponsored by Jack and Coke. Sponsored by Jack and Coke. We're having a good time truly, out here. Truly. Sponsored by Truly. Truly irresponsible. We're still waiting on the partnership. We're waiting. Man, slammed enough has not disappointed. Look at it. For all of you uh, gen boys out here, look at it. We got another gen. You guys have seen this one at Cruising by Design. And look at this thing, it's crazy. Turbo manifold, everything. And you know what? I'll give you a little secret. It's probably more reliable than mine. Oh wait, wait hold on. Let's see if we can find the owner of this thing. found the owner of the car we have edgar what's up oh edgar triple seven s so edgar seven 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 s you guys are no stranger to this type of car on my cha on this channel we have another genesis of course but it's a bk2 right yeah it's a bk2 a different platform 2013 2014. this thing is uh is quite the build edgar not only does it look good it goes fast it's a fast boy right yeah fast boy you gotta do both so yeah. looks good and goes fast break it down for us what do you got in here uh, so it's going to be MXP Manifold 6067R uh, Garrett Turbo. Got the Treadstone intercooler with the HKS blow-off valve. So the main thing to get it to over 500 horsepower is getting the actual return system for it. So the BK2s are set up with a re returnless system. So you actually have to convert it into a return system. So changing out the fuel system and then putting it on E85. That's the key, boys. Okay, so uh, what was the inspiration for this build and how long did it actually take for you to build it to get to this point? So it's about like a a little over two year build a uh, little bit inspiration uh, i actually got genesis coupe when it was brand new back in the day i ended up selling and regretting it so i bought another one and i decided to build it all the way so it has to be fast and has to look good so all right so you're saying this is a this is a fast play right how much horsepower does it make a little over 500 wheels set up for so 500 wheels so you're definitely telling me that this car pulls yes it pulls you can see i got the r triple eight r's back there that way i can actually hook because Otherwise, the, all that power goes nowhere. <laughs> I wasn't talking about power, I was talking about girls. <laughs> yeah, but 
Uh, tell my girlfriend no. Tell <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fiance. That's uh, that's the answer for you boys. Thank you, Edgar. <laughs>found the owner of this beautiful Genesis Daniel Daniel where can they find these where can the people find you at uh, bag g70 on Instagram bag g70 on Instagram this car is absolutely immaculate I loved your Genesis that you built previously but this the four-door big body is uh, yeah that's nice it's a big upgrade that's for sure okay so what was the process in building this thing like how long did you own it before you bought all these parts and then how long did the build process take Oh man, so I went out of control and bought it and then three months later cut it up and repainted it and that's where it sits now That's insane. That's a very quick process. Most people aren't that fast, but you're the buy it build it. That, that's it. It's done. So What's some of your favorite parts about this on this car? Yeah, uh, definitely the white body. White it's body? Uh, a semi-molded kit. It's usually supposed to be bolted. We decided to just mold it, be a little bit different. Yeah, pretty much just the wide body. That's my favorite part for sure. Yeah, that's it. The wide body is absolutely uh, is dope. What words of wisdom or inspiration would you give to somebody who's a newcomer to the scene? Like, any words of advice? Don't try to build your car for the internet. Build it for yourself. I tried building my Gen Coupe that way around, trying to build it to please people. I didn't really like how it turned it out, so I ended up wrapping it green, and uh, I think it turned out way better that way. Great advice, Daniel. Well, <laughs> most important question, come here. Come in close, come in close, right, okay. Right. Most important question for you. It's maybe a little sensitive. Okay, okay. I want you to answer in all seriousness, okay? All right. Are you a grower or a shower? Grower. I was talking about your airlift. They're both growers. <laughs> 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 He's a grower now, shower. Thank you guys so much for watching our Slammed Enough 2022 coverage. We are literally just trying to have some fun with it. And if you guys like this content, drop a comment down below. Tell me if you thought this was funny, if this was stupid, and if you want to see more. And if you guys have some crazy questions that you want me to ask people, we'll do it next show. Right, Junior? Exactly. All right. Peace out. We out of here.